apparently there was an earthquake last night. Now I didn't realise this, it was quite a long way from here, but in the middle of the night there was a shaking, shaking, and I thought maybe somebody in the next flat was um, having some fun or something, I wasn't sure. Anyway, I've got this, this lamp on a desk over there, and sometimes if there's like a really heavy truck or something going by, it sort of rattles like that. And last night it was really, really rattling, it was like, and it just wouldn't stop, and I was just really what on earth is going on so i had to move it what on earth is going on it was an earthquake i didn't know i had to move it i moved it all the way to the um other side of the room where it wouldn't rattle because it wasn't a part of the room that rattled so much and it was fine but you know i just thought you know that's the way this flat is it does shake sometimes it doesn't usually shake as much as that so i'm not entirely sure that it was the fault of the earthquake but i'm thinking there was a fair chance because it was about the same time it was about uh, one o'clock in the morning just before that because I'd just gone to bed and um, I was so tired and I thought oh, that's just so annoying in the middle of the night that's just really bad but yeah that was interesting it says in the independent it was 5.2 on the Richter scale now I looked it up on the actual earthquake um, sites the proper ones there's one in Edinburgh and there's one in uh, Los Angeles or something and it only is 4.7 so that's not quite 5.2 it's still quite big for Britain and I looked around there was apparently one in Greece in sort of a diagonal line and then there's a couple in um, in the mid-Atlantic as well so it's just like just quite worrying really there's a sort of like chain of earthquakes all around the world that happened yesterday more than usual I think but maybe not, maybe I'm just imagining things, I'm not a big earthquake expert, although I do tend, I, I am quite fascinated by earthquakes, I don't know why, every time there's a big one I want to look it up on the earthquake sites and find out more about it. Seismology, I like that sort of thing, um, geography was one of my, my best subjects at school and I like rocks and stuff like that, so, you know, maybe I should become a seismologist, maybe not. There's a lot of other things that I want to do first. I've got a job interview next week. Not sure what's going to happen with that, but that's interesting. So I might have a job before the month is up. No, not before the month is up, because the month is up in a couple of days' time, and next week is next month. So, And then at the end of the month, I'm going back to Bristol. It's a weekend thing for the U-stage, upstage thing. So that will be fun. We're going to do loads of things. We're going to be so... You don't want to overreach, you don't want to like go, oh, we're going to be the best ever. But obviously, if you want to try and win, you have to be the best that you can be. So um, we're going to plan stuff and do stuff and do the best we can. But it is a marathon. It's a sort of like, um, yeah, you just have to keep going and keep being as entertaining as you can, minute by minute. Keep going. It's a very strange competition, but, but it's fun. Stressful, but fun. So we'll see what happens there. And yes, oh, what else happened? Oh, I bought this in a charity shop, which is all shiny. It wasn't shiny when I bought it. It was in Notting Hill. I was, I had to go to that part of London. And it's, I think it's got marks on the bottom. They're very small and they're worn out. But I'm going to pretend that it's French silver. If it is or not, I don't know. It was three pounds in uh, Oxfam in Notting Hill. Yeah, Oxfam. And uh, also, you might have noticed at the weekend, I made a vegetable video, which is actually based on a lot of footage I had last year that I hadn't done anything with, and I've still got to do something with the artichoke one, the same thing. But I went shopping, I bought a cauliflower last week, well yesterday actually, last week. I can't get, I've been so tired lately, I'm just not together. Anyway, cauliflower, not much you could do with the cauliflower really, apart from make a film with it. I mean, you can make cauliflower cheese, you can make cauliflower au gratin which is cauliflower cheese with breadcrumbs and I can't eat breadcrumbs or you can make cauliflower soup which is basically pureed pureed <laughs> pureed sort of liquidized cauliflower cheese so very versatile it's nice one I bought a nice one that's not all dirty it's, it's very pretty look at it like brains so I might do something with that but it depends on the light the light is coming and going again and this I ran out of batteries earlier on. I have to, they're like little, recy not recyclable, you know, rechargeable batteries, and it took ages to recharge them. So I was going to do a film this morning or do something, and they ran out, so I had to recharge them. 
I couldn't find any batteries in the whole of the house. So that was a bit inconvenient. And I made a couple more films and vlogs and various different things in the last couple of weeks that have all come out wrong. The lighting has been wrong or I've just looked wrong or it's just not right. And this probably isn't perfect but I'm going to put it up anyway because I've made it now and I thought I may as well. That's good. So that's what I'll do. I'll put it up. Had some good gigs this week just to, you know, just get everything in. Get everything in because I probably won't make another one. Yeah, I had a really good gig on Monday and I've got one on Friday so that's, that's encouraging for me because I've had a run of not so great ones lately. Well, not, not that they haven't been great, it's just they haven't actually got to perform because of various different things. So I've turned up and then not gone on, which is really annoying because if you make the effort to go there and then nothing happens. But the one on Monday was really good in Marlebone, uh, near where I used to work. And then the one on Friday is out of London. So I'm going out of London on Friday just for an hour or two. So that'll be fun. Yeah. And yeah, job interview on Tuesday. So fingers crossed, maybe. That'll be fun. Okay, thank you. Bye!